Okay, the book that I decided to discuss for my um, book project would be The Help. It is a book about a book set in the early 1960s. The three main characters are Skeeter, Abilene, and Minnie. Skeeter is a white woman who is the author of the book. Abilene is uh, a maid and so is Minnie and they both work for two of Skeeter's best friends. I decided that I would discuss the themes of this book. I am discussing five of them, although there are some more. These are the ones that I felt were the most important. The first theme is literature conveying a message. The women in, these book, in this book, um, a lot of them get fired for writing this book. It's a really dangerous situation. But they also, uh, it kind of tells the public that they have a voice and they're not afraid to use it. And it also lets the public know how some of the white people treat these women okay and some of the white people really do not. It also focuses on the idea of these women using writing as an outlet. They want so badly to tell their stories and they don't really have a safe place to do that and with this book that's what they got. The next theme is the obvious one which is race. Stockett really gets into the race racial stereotypes of the 1960s and proves them wrong. Uh, she shows how unbelievably evil these white housewives are to their maids. Um, in school, we learn about like Martin Luther King, people getting shot, uh, sprayed down with fire hose, violent police, sit-ins, that kind of thing. But we really never learn like what the average colored maid or colored gardener has to go through each day, which is emotionally almost as bad. The next theme um, that I found was the idea of the perfect woman. Um, in this book, these women are expected to marry young, produce children, and never have a job. They are um, they go to junior league meetings and schedule bridge clubs, plan luncheons, and they really are more focused on their image than anything else. They don't all have perfect marriages. Some of them are in, are in really unhappy marriages, but they really just want everyone to think that their life is perfect and better than everyone else's. Um, another very important theme in this book is the idea of being raised by a colored woman. Skeeter often talks about being raised by her maid Constantine, who she says multiple times raised her better than her parents ever could have. She says that she's very upset that her mother fired Constantine. Um, and Abilene also discusses raising Mae Mobley, which is her boss Elizabeth's daughter. She, um, Abilene says that she has raised 17 white babies in her life and that it's really hard for her to raise a white child while her own son is at home being raised by somebody else. The final theme that I found in this book would be education. Almost all of the white women in this uh, book have a year of college under their belt, but they really didn't take it very seriously. They go for about a year or two and then drop out and get married. Skeeter, although, went to college for all four years. She really values her education and she really wants to be a lot different than these women. Um, another woman who discusses kind of college education is Abilene who was trying to send her son to college. He graduated from high school and he was at the top of his class and he ended up getting killed by white people on his job. And so she values education very much. There's a maid named Yule May who tries to send her two boys to college. She asks Hilly for a loan and Hilly tells her that good Christians do not offer help to those who are well and able. Um, Hilly is definitely against the advancement of colored people. She doesn't believe that they should be educated, um, which is really sad. Most of these colored, colored people drop out of school at about 14. They go and they be maids for, they are maids for other people and they help their family pay bills. And it's really just unfair for those colored people who want to have an education and who want to do better for themselves. Um, overall, I thought this book was absolutely amazing. I loved it. The movie does it absolutely no justice. I would definitely recommend this book to anyone who wants to read it. It is so good. It's an easy read, but there are times that kind of make you sit back and think like, wow, that's really sad. And it's such a good thing that our society has gotten far away from that and that there is not such thing as Jim Crow laws and segregation because it really was a horrible life for these people. So definitely read The Help. Don't watch the movie first because the book is so much better.